they call the United Center in Chicago, the home of the Bull, where today we'll be broadcasting live. Welcome everybody, Kevin Harlan here with Clark Kellogg and Steve Kerr and the rest of our terrific 2K crew. Glad you decided to spend your Thursday night with us. And now a quick check of our starting lineups for both teams. And guys, what are we going to be looking for in this one from Iman Shumpy? Passes it to the captain. Here's the three. That's good. The captain's got himself going with the triple. He did a good job getting it started and a better job finishing it off. Well, the Bulls were expected to play a role in free agency this past Intimidation factor that comes into play. Outside jumper. A three-pointer is right on target. Shumpert's got himself on the board with three there. Reach the end of the first quarter. The Bulls lead by six. Stay with us as we get come back and put in a full season. And there's the pass to the captain. That ball's nice feed this time from Jose Calderon. Eight point for the captain. The feed to Williams. And he banks in the layup. And the Bulls lead by 13. Boy, you take a look at Rose, who was extremely patient in trying to get back to being on the court. And then he fell victim to another devastating knee injury. A terrific blow for him personally and certainly for the team and the city. But fortunately, the surgery did manage. Yeah, you got to make that one. I mean, that's a high-quality shot you should make nine out of ten times. A shot's good from the captain. Well, he certainly isn't the one to blame for them being in the hole. He's been on the money with his game. Now we get a chance to check out the standings out east already. We are in December. You look at Chicago. Things going their way so far in this season. Right now, they lead the pack up front in the first spot. It becomes an easy two for them. Well, Clark, maybe they've had too many easy buckets tonight. Well, it's something that needs to change. I mean, they should not be getting all these easy dunks off offensive putbacks. And New York making it. And a look here at the skyscrapers surrounding Chicago's front yard. Grant Park. Welcome back, everyone. for the next last year is that they didn't really do any one thing in an outstanding way. Well, a lot of people wonder how they missed the playoffs, but when you look at them... Well, even with the weakness of the Eastern Conference last year, the Knicks unable to get into the postseason. It was a subpar year across the board. They're looking to bounce back now. Out to the sideline and catch up with Doris Burke. Hey, Doris. Yes, Kevin, the Bulls, known for their hard-nosed style of play, something Coach Tom Thibodeau calls, quote, And now the Knicks on the break. Kicks oh. to Smith. Throws it down as the official calls the foul. It may be a three-point play. That one on Dunleavy. A captain. Back to Shumpert. New York moving it around. That's good. 20 points for the captain. And another three-pointer to their second half total. Yeah, they caught that long-range bug at halftime, and it's been bombs away ever since. Rose attacking. He feeds it to Snell. Trying to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Tries from 16. No good on that last second attempt there. And at the end of the third quarter, a huge lead in this one may already have been decided. It's the Bulls running away with this one. From the early, the pass to the captain. Smith with a screen on rope. And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact, and he'll shoot two. And Clark, you mentioned the value of passing over isolation basketball. The term has even arisen for that one-man approach. They call it uh, Steve Hero Ball. <laughs> yeah, I think Doc Rivers may have made up that phrase. I, I love it. it. It's so true. You can't win with Hero Ball. You really have to share the basketball. But the game is meant to be played with five players moving, passing, cutting, and sharing the ball, creating good shots for each other. Shumpert passes to the captain. And Butler dishes to Rose. It's rebounded by New York. Well, those chances are almost always two points for him. I start playing harder and battle down in the paint. Here's Huffman. And two free throws coming up as he misses that one. Drawing the whistle and a lot of contact there. 
It's on Mo Williams. He has great dexterity inside. He can contort his body, shift in midair, hang time. He can protect the ball and finish through contact. Just an impressive player in the paint. And Steve, that's not a skill that most players have. I mean, that's exactly why they try to feed it to him in the paint. Not tonight. I'm not sure that was the play they had set up, but it was too good a look to pass him. Nice shot from the wing. Assistant. Chicago's gone two for two from three-point land to start the fourth quarter. And the whistle blows on the back. It adds to what's been a big differential in points in the paint between these two teams. Defensively, the intensity just hasn't been there. Um, they've got to pick up the pace. You know, there's been some debate over the idea of the quote-unquote hot hand. One study implied that it actually doesn't exist. I always felt as a player that you know, as soon as I felt the ball go through the hoop a couple times, I was much more likely to make that next one. A minute 42 left here in the fourth quarter. And AC kicks to Outlaw. Buries it from three-point range. And so Chicago takes this one, and by a big margin. You know, Clark, every team has a bad night, and these guys might want to watch the tape of this game the next time they have a bad night to remind themselves how dominant they can be. Well, this is one of those dreamlike games for a coach. Thank you for joining us for this presentation of NBA Basketball on 2K Sports. For Clark, Stephen Doris, and the rest of the crew, Kevin Harlan saying, see you next time. Turnovers were an issue for you all night. How much of that was about their pressure? They played me really well. I got to give them credit. They applied a ton of pressure, and I wasn't able to adjust. Usually I'm able to pick up stuff like that on the fly, but for whatever reason, tonight I couldn't do it. If there's one thing I pride myself on, is that I take care of the ball. So it's really frustrating to have turned it over the way I did tonight, man. Good job by them, bad job by me. Simple as A beautiful sight to behold, Lady Liberty standing majestically over the waters of New York Harbor. It's that time of year, mid-season NBA action. Alongside Clark Kellogg and Steve Kerr, this is Kevin Harlan, and is always defended by Bargnani. Here's Thomas. Oh, that's blocked. And that's out of bounds. Three points of the game. Like all good teams in the West, the Suns were very strong against the East. 24 left here in the opening quarter. Huffman. Buried from 15 feet out. 144 left in the first quarter. Now here's Dragic. Guarded close. The drive by Green. Made away. It's rebounded by the captain. He's tried to get it going, but the shots just have not dropped for him today. Leads him in there. The shot's good from Smith. Well, we've seen that more than a few times. Lead now to Stoudemire. The captain, he's guarded by Dragic. That's good. That's seven points for the captain. And going against Phoenix, their first meeting of the season. And they'll come into this one with some confidence. Last season, they swept the season series, winning both matchups. Both of these teams are battled for playoff spots in their conference. Kevin, every game is big to a team on the edge of playoff contention, Kevin. That's a whole different mindset than either of the extremes. The end of your season. So the first quarter wraps up with some nice defense in this one. Runs ahead, up by five. And back in a moment as we'll get underway with quarter number two. Here's Calderon. Blocked. But they'll get another chance. Second chance shot. The pass to the captain. Gets the three-pointer to fall. The captain's got 13. To start shutting down some of those lanes to the hoop. And yes, sir, that one drops. Here's the three. And again, New York with the triple. The defense not doing a good job at all of getting after him. They've got to crowd him and make it tough for him. Shock in the East last season, the Knicks failed to make the playoff. This from a team many expected to challenge for a spot in the conference finals. Just didn't happen. And a tight game here as we end the first half. Suns lead by three. We're going to step away briefly, but get you right back out there with Stoudemire. Then there's J.R. Smith, and it's Shumpert in at the two spot. That's the five for New York right now. Brought back the finger roll. That's a nice.
nice finesse move to pull off with the defense all over. It's corner. And now we'll get a perspective here on the hustle game, how it's been going for the Sun. Contested shots and block shots. They're bread and butter. Here's Huffman, and he gets it to go. The captain's got 23. Plays a really different. Here's Huffman. Soft touch off the glass. The captain's got seven points for the round. Passes it to the captain. And the three ball is good. That's between shot and game play. Huffman. Out to Shumpert. He dishes it to stolen by Green. Shot is off. And New York will come the other way. When this game is done, they'll be off to take on the Raptors. That will be a getaway game for them. A one-game road trip. Phoenix Suns franchise with the fourth best in NBA history. Maybe we shouldn't have been surprised with their resurgent play last season. This is a franchise that throughout its history has found ways to win. Markeith Morris on That's his first foul. Yeah, close, but I didn't think he got on balance quickly enough. And it's hard to draw charges as quick as players are at this time. With the team in its worst slump of the season, this being your seventh straight loss, what's the morale like in the locker room? And do you think a personnel change is in order here? I'm not going to lie. These guys are a little frustrated. We're practicing hard. We're game planning for our opponents. But we're just in a rough patch. Every team goes through this at some point. We just happen to get a really bad case of it. We'll be back. And we'll be back stronger than ever.